everybody, this is Don King from TheMushroomHunter.com and I um, just want to share with you today some uh, springtime treat. It is mid-April here in northeastern Ohio and I just happened upon a, a huge field of stinging nettle. So on the side of this hill here you can see a extremely large amount of stinging nettle growing here. Now stinging nettle is an extremely nutritious green. Obviously as you might have guessed by the name, uh, it does or it can sting you. Uh, so it's very important that you either wear gloves, of which I have none to, with me today, or just be very careful and just accept the fact that you might get stung as, uh, as you gather the plant. Since the nettle is so abundant here, I'm only going to be harvesting the top portions of the leaves here. Those should be the most tender portions of the plant at this point. If I would have caught these much earlier in the spring, probably could have been able to harvest the entire plant. Not even a sting. So Samuel Thayer, in his awesome book, The Forager's Harvest, I recommend that, it's a great read, mentions a great technique for harvesting stinging nettle to lower your chances of getting stung, and that is to use the more calloused parts of the tips of your fingers, which are gonna be very, very hard for the stingers to penetrate. If you happen to brush up against the plants with a soft part of your skin, like the backs of your hands or your wrists, you will get stung, it is not pleasant. But again, using some precaution, you should really minimize your chances of getting stung. So here we are with a nice bag of fresh stinging nettle. And I know a lot of you are probably wondering, well, heck, if it stings you, how are you supposed to eat it? Well, even cooking this plant, even briefly, destroys its stinging properties. So that's not something you have to worry about as far as eating it goes. Obviously, as you're harvesting it and probably rinsing it off once you get home, that's probably the only time you have to worry about the stinging property. So this is Don King again from TheMushroomHunter.com. Once again, happy hunting.